So it seems you guys really did enjoy the video about the great and glorious crab nation of Akragath. And last time we took it from being one of the poorest and weakest nations in the whole game to an okay nation overall. And today we are going to be feeding both Carthage and Rome to the crab, starting with the elephant ridden army of Carthage and trying to conquer the rest of Sicily before going on to maybe a much larger and grander target. And if you do enjoy this video, guys, 100 likes for part three, where we're going to turn this crab nation into the crab feeders of the Mediterranean, turning Akragas into a pirate and raiding nation and raiding the whole of the Mediterranean. But enough waffling, guys. So without further ado, let's feed them to the crabs. So you guys seem to like the Krabby Boys, huh? <laughs> I mean, we didn't quite get to the 200 like goal, guys, but we did get very close, and I want to thank you all for the support on the last video. But if you want to see a part three of this one, guys, 100 likes, and we will turn Akragas into a pirate raiding nation while also playing a little bit tall. So get us 100 likes for that part. But today, of course, we are going to be taking on the Bastards of Carthage and going after them over here, hopefully taking these little islands, maybe raiding Carthage as well, and trying to make Akragas great again. We have got past the point of surviving, and now it's time to make the Krabby Boys great and feed Carthage to the crabs. And it happened almost immediately. One turn later, guys, and Rome has attacked us. That's... Not ideal, guys, is it? I'm not going to lie. Not ideal at all. Mm, very, very bad. I mean, I think we can defend okay against Rome. But fighting them is going to be a completely different question. I think at this point, it's probably worth just going and trying to take out Carthage as quick as possible. We did lose our spy. They did die. So is there anywhere else where we can actually recruit a spy? Yes, there is. We'll get one there fantastic and i think it's time to take our army let's get our army all the way over here there we go and we're going to pop these guys in too i think this is it's not the best of armies but again at the same time it's not awful either so yeah i think we can go after carthage now i think we can go after carthage we're going to keep getting some more Syracuse and Hoplites. They're going to be good in defense. We're going to get another archer from there too. Another candidate for adoption though. That is glorious. Adoption not completed. Oh well. It didn't pop up before um, I clicked on anything. But there we go. Rome has attacked us. Oh, that's, uh, that's not ideal, my friends. <laughs> that's really not ideal. What can we get though? Third tier barracks for... The Cis uh, Peloponnesian Hoplites, who are one of our best units by quite a long way. So, I think we go for them. We can actually get all the way up to fourth tier. I'm also going to save my money so we can go for Recruitment 2. In fact, let's go for Recruitment 2 in Akragas first. And then we shall build this one. Uh, for the time being, we shall save the money because we need... All of it. And we are just going to go and try and blitz down this area of Carthage straight away. If we can kill that one army, I think we'll be okay. I'd also love the Romans to fight this army to try and weaken them. But fighting the Romans is going to be horrible. And Rome did take Regium. That's rather scary, I'm not going to lie. Especially when they've got a second massive army there. So will fighting Carthage be a good idea? I mean, I feel like we need this part of the island to be successful against Rome to start with. So let's get our spy that's in here. Let's have a look where that army is. Because I do want to fight this army. That's... Okay, this is a different army. They've got Sacred Band there as well. Oh, when it rains, it pours, my friends. When it rains, it pours, doesn't it? But we could go after that army. I think the army with the elephants is the one that we need to worry about. The rest of this 
should be able to be blitzed down relatively quickly. So let's go and fight some elephants, my friends. That's going to be interesting, isn't it? It's going to be interesting. Luckily, we do have javis and we do have archers. Do we have anything in here that's of interest? We've got this guy as well. Where did he come from? Um, what's happened here? That's... Am I being really dumb? I don't think so. I remember putting that guy in there and there was no one else in there. What? Oh, well, I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the extra general. That's not a problem. <laughs> right, guys, here we are. The double elephant army and the general is, in fact, an elephant as well. That's going to be interesting. I mean, the rest of their army is nothing that we can we need to worry about. It is just the elephants, guys. So let's get into it. So the main thing here is getting it so that we can, of course, move our archers close to the elephants to fire fire arrows at them. But it looks like their elephants are right in the middle or at the back. That's going to be great. Well, here we go, guys. Their elephants are actually moving forward. So let's get forward enough to start firing at them. Not the Numidian cavalry. The bloody elephants, my friends. There we go. Fire at them. They are firing back at us now, which is fine. And I want you guys to go forward too. What we'll do is we'll bring our infantry forward just for now so we can protect the archers while they are here. I'm also going to bring my Peltas forward too because I want them... If the elephants do charge, they're going to be the best challenge against them. I don't think we're going to break these guys until uh, we've killed at least one of the elephants. But yeah, we shall see. They do tend to go mad quite a bit in the game at the minute. So yeah, that is the main thing that we need to do here. So we've been tanking all of their shots for a while. And I think that is fine. You can see some of the elephants getting a little bit damaged, but not horrifically damaged. As soon as these guys come in, though, we are going to start firing javelins at them. So we should break at least a couple of them or kill them at least. Come on, guys. Fire your javies. There we go. One of them's died. They are eager. They do need to go mad. There we go. They've lost a few now. Good. Okay. Pretty darn good. Those volleys there. I'm going to take these guys off fire at will. You guys can keep firing. There's literally only like three or so of them left. So we were firing at the general uh, elephant over there. But I'm wondering if it's worth firing at these guys for now. Here comes the Kytrati infantry. They are not going to be a problem to deal with. We should be okay against those guys. But we've taken a lot of losses. There goes one of the elephants. That's fantastic. Oh, were they withdrawing though? That's the other thing. So one of the elephants is going mad now, which is excellent. So what we need to do now is probably just move a little bit further forward. Here we go. And if we can bring our guys forward as well to fire at them. Let's bring the Javi boys up as well and they can get closer when we need to. There goes the mad elephant going crazy. That's awesome. Go on, boys. How many have you got there? Nine? Nine? So they've got three elephants. Go on, boys. And they've killed more elephants. Oh, yes. That is what we like to see, guys. Apparently, these guys are struggling against the Kytrati infantry. That's a little bit silly. Come on. They are they are crap. They are crap. How are we losing our Syracuse and Hoplites against them so much? Guys, can you run, please? That would be nice. Uh, where are the archers now? Let's make sure we are firing at the other elephant. Where are you? You are the the general elephant. There we go. Kill you. Right. Let's uh, surround these Kytrati boys. Also, where's my cav? They are back here. Oh, hello. I did not see this Numidian cavalry at all. I don't think... Okay, that's the general. Good. And is that the uh, other unit of elephants gone mad yet? No, not quite. But they are just letting this elephant just run ma run wild, <laughs> killing as many of the men as possible. Um, but yeah, that's glorious. We should be able to kill this Numidian cavalry really easily. There we go. We've broken the Kytrates too. I knew they wouldn't be too difficult to beat. There we go. You guys just charge them down for a second. And how are we doing with that other elephant? Warmed up. Oh, now they're running amok. Yes! Come on, the boys. Let's go. That's what we like to see. There we go. Now, surely, we can move in and kill 
them all. Let's go, boys. Now it's just a case of sweeping in here and taking out as many of them as possible and using our cavalry advantage to our, of course, glorious advantage there. Where is the other one of these guys? Yeah, why are you there? Like, can you, like, come forward maybe? That would be good. And put you on fire at will. Cavalry, I can't really see because of the trees, which is a bit of a mess. But, okay, doesn't matter. The Phoenician infantry, you guys fight those Libyan skirmishers. And let's hope that we can take out this whole army. Come on, boys, let's go. Get through them all. It's time for them all to die, my friends. Die, 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 die. Come on. Kill the Libyan infantry. They should not be hard to beat. A lot easier than the goddamn sacred band we're going to have to deal with soon. Right, on to those Libyan skirmishers. We want to avoid those elephants. That would be good. They're still running amok over there. But that was a very measured battle that we just had there, which is really good for us. Uh, you guys, yeah, you're going to fight them. We've surrounded these units. Want you? Can you get out there, maybe? You guys come out this way. There we go. Where's the cav? Oh, you're going to have to fight some more Numidians. Look at that. They're Ch oh, Kytrati cavalry. That's not a problem. Um, how many men do they have left? They've got 40%. Well, if we can kill all of them, that would be excellent. So let's get on with doing that now. There goes the final remnants of the Carthaginian army. They are all crumbling in front of our eyes now. So let's charge them all down and get rid of this elephantine army. There we go, guys. Smashing elephants and Carthage all in one. What a glorious, glorious victory, my friends. And hopefully they will be fully destroyed. Well, unfortunately, we don't have enough movement now to get to Captain Azar. So what we're going to do, we are just going to siege down Panormus for the time being. Take Panormus out. Transgression against Carthage, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think we've done a little bit more than that, my friends. Um, take Panormus out there. And then hopefully this army will attack us on the end turn. But let's find out, guys. And let's also find out what Rome <laughs> decides to do. Because that's quite important, isn't it? And there goes Rome. Thank you, Rome. Oh, God. There's only one question, guys. When does the pain end? <laughs> when does it end? When? <laughs> when does this pain finally come to an end? <laughs> and they had another army in here as well with Sacred Band and all that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah. I mean... That's always fun, isn't it? It's always fun. I think, honestly, though, like, Midistratum is not important to us, so, yeah, it's fine. We shall leave Panormus. There we go. 40%. Wow, let's get some extra cash from this building, of course, and repair that. And, yeah, do we leave? I'm thinking we leave behind, like, 58 archers. That might be enough. Let's see. 50%. Hmm. Not ideal, really, is it? We've got the law there, though. That's two turns. That's only 10%, though. But I think... Yeah, 30% unrest. That's going to go away a little bit. So, do we just, like, go and take out their main recruitment hubs over here? Like, Lily Byam would be a good option. I think so. I think that is the option for us, is going after that. Maybe just trying to take them out here. I don't mind losing Mitistratum. Again, we're just going to have to manage the AI, basically, and the AI's expectations of what we want to do. I think that's the only way we survive this again, guys. That is the only way that we survive. Well, that is their Fortress of Lilibium done, guys. A glorious little victory. We only lost 121 men, so we should have plenty left to keep going against Carthage. Very nice indeed. And I think for Lilibium, it's time to exterminate. We need happiness in these regions. We can't afford to be leaving a lot of troops behind over here at all. So definitely keeping them happy is the main thing. I think we're going to go for Eryx as well, because that's also a minor city. What do we want to leave behind, though? I feel like one of these sort of guys over here, the Cicel Pelt of Foroy, is that enough to keep them happy? Absolutely fantastic. So I think we're going to have to keep on, um, you know, exterminating these settlements over here. 
while, you know, we wait for Rome to just steamroll us <laughs> in the east. Glorious, 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 my friends. I forgot to mention as well, the Carthaginians had another army, and I think it was hidden in the trees somewhere, but it kind of just popped out of nowhere, maybe over here. And that's who is sieging down over Panormus now. They were sieging down Midistratum. But, like I say, I'm not that bothered about losing these settlements that we've just taken. So, yeah, it's not too bad. Rome has, of course, taken Masana. So, we are going to have to deal with that. But, first of all, I want to deal with Carthage. I want to take out all of their settlements here. And then, hopefully, just hopefully, whether it happens or not, I don't know. They will take their, you know, they will take their um, armies off Sicily. And go somewhere else because they don't actually border us here. But that might be wishful thinking, my friends. <laughs> that might be wishful thinking. Right, let's get into this battle for Eryx. And we do have to fight a sacred band. But again, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's more our maneuvering outside of the battles that is the really tough thing at the minute. So we've got them pretty well surrounded. Now we just need to try and get them off the town square, which is... The difficult thing, especially when your archers have such horribly low range. <laughs> and they can just do that and get out of the range. So uh, we're going to have to keep coming forward, I think. We'll get both of these guys up here. Let's try to force them off this town square. It's going to be difficult, but we can keep trying, can't we, guys? Let's go. And we've also got our jabbies there as well. Let's see. Can we force them off this town square? Well, the sacred band don't seem like they want to come off. So what we're going to do is try and charge their general, Sakarbal, which is an awesome name. I really do like that name. And hope that we can get the rest of the Sacred Band off the town square as we keep going forward. Looks like a pretty darn good charge from us. Oh my god. These Carthaginian generals are like paper mache, man. Let's go. Let's get out of there. We don't want the Sacred Band killing all of our general's bodyguards. Guys, can you like hurry up, please? Come on, guys. Speed up, man. Go. Don't slow. <laughs> uh, I really do not want to fight this sacred band on the town square. That's going to be brutal if we have to do that because they are so good. I think they've got 49 defense. 49 defense. That's insane. Well, the one thing we have to our advantage is that we did have some Tarantine cavalry, which has managed to drag them relatively far over this way. They still really do not want to get off that town square, do they? But we're just going to keep firing at them, especially with the javelins, and see whether that's going to be enough to finally get them off this town square. Come on! Just get off there! Well, one last ditch attempt with missiles, because we've pretty much run out of missiles now, is to try and use these Sissel Thurioforoi to fire into them. They don't tend to chase anyone unless they die. So hopefully by firing into this side where their shields are not, we're going to get a few more kills. Come on, Sacred Band. You know you want to leave, guys. There we go. Fantastic. Let's go. And now we just need to surround these guys. Surround them. Surround them. There we go. Bring these guys through too. General, we're going to have to get you around this way if we can. Fantastic. Let's go. Let's go. Push them off. Push them off. Actually, get there, guys. Get there so they can't get back on. Then we're going to push them this way. There we go. Glorious, 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 my friends. We're going to pop these guys here to try and block them. And then we're going to wait for the two and a half minutes. If we can get you guys, should be the ones to stay on here, actually. There we go. Glorious, glorious, glorious. The sacred band are going to die. Are you fucking kidding me? Not again. A single man reveals himself. <laughs> if you know the reference, guys, comment down below. <laughs> but a single guy has somehow got through everyone again. <laughs> Come on, man. Look at him. That uh, absolute Chad Lord. Absolute Chad Lord. Oh, dear. That's so annoying, man. That's so annoying. What I'm going to do is pop the generals there so that it kind of stops. Like, how are they getting through? How are they getting through? Come on, man. I think we killed... I think we killed them there, though. That's that's good, at least. <laughs> and there they go. They actually routed. We didn't run the timer down. But a glorious victory. 77 losses. Very nice indeed, guys. Let's get back on that campaign map.
And again, guys, let's exterminate here. So that is a glorious little victory for us. Let's keep on going. Only two more, but likely Panormus as well. So three more settlements to take over this way. Which temple did they go for? The Temple of Law, which, yeah, for them is a clever, is a clever one, but for us, less so. Let's go 65%, not bad at all. Let's get back in here. We can only get one ram now. That's how damaged our army is. So I do need to be very careful. Very, very careful, guys. Because, of course, with this army, could we beat this with their two sacred bands? It would be difficult. I think we could. Could we also beat this with their three sacred bands? I don't know. I don't know. That's the tough thing. I really don't know. Well, apparently we get this message about the Thurio Foroi Cavalry. I wonder, is that actually our reforms? I'm not... I'm not 100% certain. Let's have a look at Akragas. Let's also look in here. Can we now get Thurio Foroi Cavalry? We can! Not that that's going to make a difference because, you know... They're not, they're not a great unit. <laughs> they're not a great unit at all. God damn, the guys over here are so upset. Calm down, guys. Calm down. So there goes Suggesta, another one. So only two more now to take off the Carthaginians before Sicily is almost all ours without the influence of Rome. <laughs> Let's go. Well, this is certainly interesting. Okay, Rome. I I'll take what you're offering there. Like, let's 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 be friends for a little bit longer, at least. Do you want an alliance, maybe? Very demanding. Absolutely not. <laughs> so, guys, the play now is they have actually come over here with both of their armies to take Midistratum. Of course, first turn, they're not going to build any rams. So the play is, of course, to out-siege them. When have we seen this one before, my friends? So we're going to get into this battle here. We're going to go for, what's it called? Salinus. We're also going to go over to Panormus, and the spy was killed. Oh, ah, well, uh, fantastic. <laughs> so here we go, ready to surround them. And do remember, guys, always remember on these type settlements, this little alleyway is actually usable. So once they've actually gone past here, what I'm going to do is rush this guy down here, along with the generals through into the town square, and we're going to attack them as quickly as we can. We're also going to bring these guys through here to kill them, and you're going to kill them. One of you actually could do with attacking the Libyan skirmishers there. The cavalry is going to come onto the town square as usual, just for now, just to hold it because they are the quickest unit. So they're going to outpace these Libyan skirmishers and we're going to get these guys in to block them off. And that should be enough. Should be nice and quick. So do always remember. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was just going to say, do always remember about that little passage because, you know, the back passage is always very, very useful, my friend. And again, let's enslave, sorry, exterminate Selenus, because again, we cannot really afford to be leaving a lot of troops behind. I'm wondering, we've got this guy here, so we're going to pop him in there, and that's actually happy already. Glorious. So we're going to go straight for Panormus, and I'm hoping we can out-siege these guys, and then they're going to run away. They're not going to die completely, of course, remember. But hopefully they can run away. In terms of buildings, though, guys, we are building pretty much everywhere, which is absolutely glorious for us. So, yeah, really, really good from our perspective. Unfortunately, some of these areas like Tindaris need to grow first before we can grow, uh, before we can build much more. But we are building everywhere. We are building military buildings in our three military areas as you can see Syracuse is actually nearly on level two which will be amazing because then we can go to level three straight away so that we can actually start getting some decent troops in Akragas we're going to build the city barracks and then the next level barracks straight away so we can start building our Peloponnesian hoplites because although we're not on the Peloponnese these guys are insanely good. 42 defense, 17 morale, and 13 melee attack. May even be able to stand up to the Romans. Not 100% convinced on that, 
but maybe. <laughs> we shall see. And the final settlement on Sicily, guys. Apart from Masana, let's just ignore that. We're going to just auto-resolve because, of course, first of all, and we're also just going to enslave this because it was, of course, our settlement not too long ago. Apparently, that has destroyed literally everything in the whole of that settlement, which is not great. But we're going to pop these guys in there now, and we're going to take this whole army all the way back to Akragas. Now, what I am hoping is that this army will disengage. But if they don't, we'll go and siege down Mithrastratum with our fresh-faced army as well. That's not a problem. We do have plenty of troops over here now. So we are getting to the point now where we could maybe field a second army, which is insane, guys, from the start of this campaign. We're only 30 turns in, and we can field two armies as Akragas, one of the worst, <laughs> worst factions in the whole of the game. Well, I think we're doing all right, guys. And I think Carthage is a little bit confused, which is uh, <laughs> very good for us, I'm not going to lie. So let's get rid of Azar over here. Auto-resolve that. We lost zero men. That's going to make him run away. I'm also considering going after this army. But what I think we'll do is we'll pop here. And then we'll join this army with all these Sicel Thuriophoroi. We've got some more over here too. Glorious. Now we're going to attack the army with a pretty fat stack of troops. So, I mean, it's, it's just hoplites. <laughs> but that should be enough to hopefully destroy this army. Let's go. So this is the formation we're going for. We're hopefully going to take a really fat front line up the hill. And then we're going to flank around with those Sicel Thurio Foroi to fire their javis into the back of them. And also, you know, completely encase this army and surround it. And then hopefully the Sacred Band will be destroyed. Because they are, like we've said, pretty insanely good, aren't they, guys? Right, guys, let's go. Let's feed Carthage to the crabs one extra time. Let's go, guys. Let's get up this hill and start attacking these bastards. Very good. Feed them to the crabs. Let's go. Let's go, my friends. I cannot believe that their general is a Libyan slinger. That's so very strange. But, uh, okay, it doesn't really matter too much. We're going to charge anyway. And we're going to charge these guys through too. They can keep on going all the way around. Looks like the uh, sacred bond. Sacred bond? The sacred bond are coming, my friends. The sacred bond. Yes, very good. Right, you guys get across that side. And cavalry, of course, we need to get you out behind. So let's go, guys. Shouldn't be too difficult now. You guys enjoy your fighting with the Libyo Phoenicians. There we go. And let's get them all out of the back there. Fire into them, my friends. Fire into them. And what we'll do is we'll get these guys here. And hopefully them being on fire at will will allow them to fire as much as possible uh, into these guys. We're already broken the general, so that shouldn't be too bad for us. Hopefully, though, if I get you through, you should be able to charge them down. But they are very close to the edge of the map. How are you guys doing? Okay, that's the general dead. Well, I think you should all fire into the sacred band. And let's make sure... That we stick them on halt after they've fired. Well, at least these two anyway. Cavalry, let's come round. You guys, what we're going to do is backspace you. And then we're going to fire again. Good. These guys are firing their javis, but at Libyan slingers pretty much. You guys can chase after these boys. You guys fire there, there, and there. And the cav, let's go. They're finally in place. Let's also just take out these Libyan slingers so they're out of the way. So we can go after the Libyo Phoenicians. You guys need to come over this way. I think this is both their sacred bands. Although, did they have more than one? I'm not sure. You guys get over there. Let's go. I know you're a little bit tired, guys. There we go. This flank has now crumbled. You three are not even going to really see action then, are you? <laughs> and the cavalry is probably not going to do that much either. Apart from chase down the enemy because we need to get in there. There we go, Cav. Let's go. Big bang. Straight in there. Very nice. That's broken them. I'm going to break that Kytrati. We've got a unit breaking as well. Looks like one of uh, one of the boys. 
You guys now fire into the Sacred Band again. Let's go. And Cavalry, unfortunately, you know, we have everyone surrounded with the infantry. So I think the best thing to do right now is to chase down these guys. So we make sure that we kill this whole army. There we go. Fire in there, guys. Fire and wave, boys. Fire and wave. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Let's go. That's it. Very nice. Oh, we've we've absolutely ruined these poor guys. <laughs> oh, glorious. How many did we lose there? 20% and we've killed the whole army. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Well, a glorious victory there, guys. Very nice indeed. Carthage is being fed to the crabs. One thing we've not been doing that we need to get a move on with is, of course, recruiting a navy for our pirating stuff that we want to do. <laughs> so let's get on with that now. Let's also put you up. We don't need you so low. Let's keep on going with this. Let's keep on going with this navy. Let's try and get a pretty decent navy, to be fair. Something that's not going to die instantly <laughs> with our whole army on board. That would be rather annoying. So... For now, let's get that in there. And which one's better? Okay, the Cicel 304 are definitely better. So let's build some more of those boys. And Glorious, I think we're going to go after that army. That army very, very soon. In fact, let's go again. Let's go after it now. No point leaving it alive on our island is that there's a lot of sacred bands in here, guys. But I think we just do exactly the same thing. Feed them to the crabs! Same tactics as the last time, guys. We're going to engage with the front line and use our troops to fully surround the army. So let's go. Let's see if we can do exactly the same job as what we did last time. Let's get these guys up there. Going to get you guys around there. We're going to get them there a little bit quicker than we did previously. General's taking a bit, few shots as well, so we're going to bring him across here with our reinforcement general too. Once these guys are all in position, they are going to charge, it looks like. That's good for us. We'll take the charge. We shall take the charge. There we go. You guys get into there. More sacred band. So you two, let's get you here, if you will. And uh, we're going to get these guys around this way. And these guys can come this way. They aren't engaging their sacred band as of yet, which is a little bit annoying for us. But that should be fine. Uh, you guys are not that useful, but you can charge down enemies, so that's good. You guys need to fire. There we go. Same with you guys. There we go. Fire into the enemy and engage them here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get these three around this way, if possible. Just kill those Libyan slingers nice and quick. Going to get you there. Cavalry, let's go. Let's get the generals all behind and to take out all the guys there too. So let's go. Here we go, guys. The full surround is on again. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more difficult than it was last time, though. So let's get up into the fight here. Come on, guys. Come on, Cav. Let's go. We need you ASAP. ASAP. You fire into the sacred band. You guys fire in there. You guys are just engaging the sacred band for now. You guys fire, fire, and fire. Once you've done that, I'm going to press it again so that they don't do anything stupid. Let's go. You guys can charge them. It looks like they're charging with the Libyan skirmishers. So there we go again. What are you doing? Fight them. Fight them, you fools. Fight them. I, I don't know what they're doing, but okay, that's fine. What we're going to do is use this general here to engage these guys. So, And then we're going to use our proper generals to charge where we need to. Let's get here and charge them in there. Looks like our Libya, the Libyan skirmishers are falling. Let's go into the sacred band, guys. Let's rally as well. Uh, and there we go. Kill them. Kill them. And let's go kill these Libyan skirmishers too. There we go, Cav. Now out before this sacred band decides to take you on. You guys engage, if you would. And this is the main blob here. This actually has their general in as well. Those Libyo Phoenicians though. Guys, come on. Fight them. Fight them. And let's go for one more charge in there. What do we have here? Fight those Libyan skirmishers. 
You guys should be able to kill those Libyan slingers pretty easily. We're also going to charge them. There we go. Another good charge straight in the side of that sacred band. If we can get this general to die or rout, I think that's going to be a huge benefit to us right now. Guys, fight them. There we go. Sacred Band is steady again now, though, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but that's fine. You guys chase them down. You're chasing them down. We're just going to quickly get onto those Libyan Slingers. You can come this way and maybe fire some Javis. In fact, no. Come this way, and then we'll fight the Libyo Phoenicians there, too. Cavalry-wise, I do need to get them back very soon. The Sacred Band are going to be very tough to beat. But once we've killed all these guys, we are fine for the rest of of the island of Sicily. We've cleaned it of Carthage, pretty much. Which will be amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. You guys don't need to worry about them anymore. You come around to here. Should be able to fire. You guys come back. We're going to use you again to charge into that sacred band there. You guys are struggling, unfortunately. You can fire. You've got a lot of javis for us there. Come on, you guys. Fire, fire, fire. How did these guys get engaged? We don't want you in there at all. <laughs> right, do that. And now I want you to fire again. Fire again. Fire again. There we go. Backspace. And now fire. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's get into the sacred band again. Let's rally again so we don't die with our general. Looks like they're going to get a good charge off here, actually. Bang. Straight in the side of them there. That's actually destroyed most of that unit. Fantastic. And where are my cavalry units? You're there. You're still chasing people down, so come back so you can chase more people down. Kill all of them. And who do we have? We've got these two guys in here. Ideally, we want you to be, uh, you know, uh, chasing down... Not chasing down the enemy, should I say? Firing your javis in this blob. So let's do that. You two, I think we're going to deal with them. And we're going to get the cavalry here to maybe charge into that sacred band. But for now, it's a bit of a grind fest. And this blob is still very good. We just need to break it somehow. But without the access of our cavalry there, you know, fully surrounding them with infantry is always a good idea. But it does disallow you from using your cavalry properly. So what we might do is bring our cavalry around this way, give these guys a bit of a charge, and then try and charge in from this side where we've got a lot less troops. So let's do that. The Libyo Phoenicians are a bit shaken. Sorry, you guys chase these guys down. There we go. Perfect. Here we go, guys. Let's charge these Libyo Phoenicians. Should be nice and easy. And hopefully an easy break, but we shall see. There we go. We actually lost quite a few men on that charge. It was a bit of a rubbish charge, wasn't it? It was not in the right place. So <laughs> it's not too helpful for them. Uh, but yeah, that's fine. Let's get back over here. And, yeah, that sacred band is now broken too. Glorious, glorious. What do we have here then? We've got a load of the uh, Thurio Foroi. Let's go straight in the back of these Libyo Phoenicians again. This should be a better charge. So, come on, guys. Needs to be better this time. Could be better. It's a B plus for you guys. <laughs> Let's uh, fire at them. This should be a good charge, though. Should be a good charge. Yeah, we've completely, like, utterly ruined them there. Glorious. Get out. Get out. The Sacred Band are going a bit mental, as usual. There goes the general. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Glorious victory once again, my friends. Well, a much tougher battle there, wasn't it? But in the end, still a glorious victory. And once again, we can say we fed Carthage to the crabs. So I'm not sure what I've done but the game seems a little broken <laughs> um, okay that worked but where is our general now where's our actual general that's so weird where is he what what was his name as <laughs> well uh, a chaos. It says he's part of this army. He's clearly not. He's clearly not. Well, let's see what happens here. Yeah, where is he gone, bro? Where is he gone? He's not part of this army. <laughs> right, let me try loading up again. 
uh, maybe pre-end turn? And let's see, guys. Well, unfortunately, the faction leader has just disappeared. He's not part of this army either. And yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll do this battle, see whether it crashes. And if it doesn't, we shall reload the game and see whether that will work. These guys, however, you know, they, uh, they're they going to die, aren't they? They're going to die. What I'm going to do this time is just use the uh, the Javi boys in the front line and just get them opposite and just try and get them to just fire as many javelins as possible before engaging. It was a little bit messy last time, wasn't it? So let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. And we shall try and surround them once again. Let's also get our generals to take out their general that is coming. He can't escape, so if he runs, he will die as well, which is great for us. So let's keep coming, guys. Let's keep coming. Come forward. I want to be firing predominantly into the sacred band, honestly, rather than anything else. And you guys, let's bring you round. Let's bring you round too. Here we go. Should be good to fire. There we go. That's their general dead very quickly. Nice. Right, you guys come back this way. Glorious. Here we go. Javelins are being thrown now at the wrong people, at the bloody Libyan slingers, <laughs> which is not ideal, but that's fine. As long as javelins are being thrown, that's all that really matters. And we're just going to stand here for a little bit, see if we can throw some more javelins into them. You guys come there. You guys get over there if you can. More javelins are being thrown right now. Glorious. Keep throwing, guys. Keep throwing. Hopefully, we can throw into the back of that sacred band. That would be awesome. So, keep coming forward, guys. Keep coming forward. You guys get down there now. And it looks like we're going to have to engage these Libyans. I don't mind engaging them in the front. Just to hold them while we fire Javis at everyone else. You guys actually get over that way to surround these boys. You guys come forward. Get firing, guys. Go on. Fire. Fire away, boys. Fire away at the sacred band. Very good. You guys engage the Libyan Slingers. And you two, we're going to go into right into the back of the Sacred Band there. Very nice. Keep firing, guys. Keep firing if you have Javis. Fire one last time, and then we'll be good. Generals, come up here. And looks like a glorious victory already, my friends. There we go. Everyone is routing now, apart from the Sacred Band. So, uh, <laughs> pretty good. Let's chase down these guys if we can for now. Chase them down. And there we go. Everyone is routing a glorious victory, my friends. We hardly lost anyone. Well, once again, Carthage has been fed to the crabs. What a glorious victory this time, my friends. Very nice indeed. Okay, so it seems that kill character this worked. So, unfortunately, we've lost our faction leader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we have saved ourselves potential crashes and all that sort of thing so let's go after this rebel army up here in the north too and then we are pretty much you know undisputed on sicily apart from uh yeah the romans but anyway we do have a spy so let's get him up here i want to have a look around this way to see what Rome is actually doing. And I think we're going to kick them out, guys. Let's kick them out, shall we? <laughs> that should be fun. Because I think we're in a pretty good spot right now. Not the greatest of spots, but a good one nonetheless. Although I do want to take these islands here too. Hmm. Maybe we'll go for the islands first. We'll call it a day there. And the next part, if we get to 100 likes, of course... We'll be fighting the Romans. Right then, guys. Let's get into this battle and kill the remnants of Syracuse as well to become the undisputed masters of Sicily. Well, here we go, guys. Straight into the fight. They've got a lot of cavalry, so we do need to be careful because that cavalry is going to very much try to flank us. But like we've done before, we are going to come out to the flanks with our... Uh, hoplites, and we're going to start firing our jabbies into their front lines too, as well as their bodyguards. But yeah, I don't like these Prodromoi being around, but luckily they are only Prodromoi, so they're not going to be that powerful at all. Uh, apparently those guys were hidden there for a second, which is very weird, but okay, it doesn't really matter. Guys, keep firing, keep firing, guys, keep firing. And now we're going to come forward 
There we go. We've used all the ammunition just like they have. There we go. That's their general dead. Very nice. Uh, and he charged as well. Fantastic. Right then. Let's keep coming. You guys engage them. That would be funny. You guys engage them. If possible, you can go and engage the Syracuse and Hoplites. You guys, whatever, fight the Prodromite. And we've got these guys here too. Can't really do much else, unfortunately, right now. You know. Uh, you guys keep coming around then. You guys come around too. Come on. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. And we're going to try and fully surround these fools. These fools. You guys, again, let's get you up there very quickly. Very nice indeed. General, just stay close because, as I've said, we don't have that much cavalry. So we can't really afford to use him too much right now. You guys, I want you to get in there. I want you guys to get in there as well. You guys can go and engage them. In fact, one of you can go and fight these guys. And the rest of you can get up there as well. And maybe we do send our cavalry to deal with the Peltaforoi up here. But should be relatively easy to deal with those boys. Uh, but there we go. They are routing already. Very nice. You guys come round then. You guys come here. Looks like full routes. And again, we just need to kill a rebel army. We don't need to chase them all down to fully destroy it. Because it is, at the end of the day, just a rebel army. Go on, fight them. There we go. Kill the Syracuse and Hoplites. There we go. Everyone's routing now. So, in fact, I don't think we need these guys here. You guys can come up that way. Uh, you. Let's see if we can use you actually in a fight. Come on, boys. Let's go. You guys go and engage them. You guys keep coming up. I don't think you'll reach them in time, but it'll be fine. And is that everyone here? That is everyone here. So, everyone here. Let's go. And we'll just set up up there. We don't mind tanking a little bit, too. That's fine. You guys get up that way. You guys are enjoying yourselves. Let's send you to go and deal with them. In fact, we shall go for a charge in on them. Bit annoying that we've got to use not our good general. I mean, he's still decent, but he's not the general that we've trained up <laughs> at this point, is he? So, uh, yeah, very weird. But you, you, what can you do? What can you do, guys? What can you do? Right, you guys get up there. Are these guys going to withdraw? No, because they are rebels at, at the end of the day. So they need to fight. Let's go fight those Syracuse and Hoplites. You guys come through this way. Go and fight them. Prodromoy. Yeah, Prodromoy aren't coming back. Good. There we go. And let's keep coming up this way. Very nice indeed. Not much else we can really do here. It's just a chase down these fools. Well, there we go. A pretty simple battle in the end. Apparently, we lost 500 men, which seems a little bit obscene, but I think a lot of that was just because they had some pretty darn decent troops still, but a glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. Let's get back on that campaign map. And who would have guessed Rome has attacked us <gasps> once again? Yes, 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 yes. I mean, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. I think... You know, we're in a pretty good p position. This army, although full of weak units, is just basically the horde. The hoplite horde that can take on Rome. And at the minute, we don't see any other armies coming down. They do have that. There's only three men there, though. So, yeah, we, we don't see any other armies coming down. So, well done, Rome. This might be a good opportunity for us. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Anyway. Well, guys, Masana is now ours, so Sicily is fully under our control. And I think to set up our pirate nation that we're going to be building in part three, there's only one thing that we can do, isn't there? There's only literally one thing that we can do. We're going to come rather slowly to start with. There we go. I'm just going to pop off the ships there. <laughs> I wonder what we've got planned, guys. I wonder what we might have planned. Let's also make sure we do garrison the city there. Because otherwise, you know, we'll be a little bit screwed, won't we, when uh, the Romans come down. They did also threaten us between turns, saying if we didn't give them a tribute, they would attack us. But they've already attacked us. So what do you want us to do? <laughs> But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys, and maybe next time 
You see this? We'll be somewhere in this vicinity. <laughs> well, here come the Roman armies, but... Mm, I'm not too sure they saw this one coming, my friends, did they? I'm not sure they saw this one coming. Um, yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's something a bit more important than what you're doing right now. Uh, we're not going to blockade that because it hopefully should preserve our navy then. If we blockade it, it's very likely they'll bring a navy to attack us. But for now, that seems pretty darn good, doesn't it, guys? Silly, silly Rome. Oh, wow. We can now get Peloponnesians as well. Very nice indeed. What's more important, Peloponnesians or army barracks? Well, both. Apparently, both. We can get both. Fantastic. Well, let's end the turn, guys. And let's hope we're not attacked in some way. Well, Rome is here in a rather large amount of force. <laughs> But, yes, I think there's only one thing for it. In terms of what they've got, they've not got any Triarii. There's a lot of Equites. But our horde, our monstrous horde of... Um, let's maintain. Our monstrous horde of boys. Let's see if we can take Rome and sack it, guys. Let's go. The glorious city of Rome, my friends. The first target of our great pirate force. Pretty much a horde of hoplites and thuriophoroi. And that's it. <laughs> but this should be enough to finally take Rome and burn it to the ground. So now we're on the walls, guys. We're going to take all the towers that we can. And, of course, use those towers to fire down at the enemy. The only one that is un that is protected unprotected right now is this ladder here but these guys are only velite so it shouldn't be too much of a worry for us to take that area um and get through it as well so that's what we're gonna do you guys are fighting principes which obviously is not ideal so we're gonna come all the way around here with these guys and we're gonna use them to fire onto the enemy while we're doing that while these guys are running through which hopefully they do rather quickly we might send these boys up this way and i just can't wait to destroy this city <laughs> i can't tell you how eager i am to fully destroy these boys and get rid of them so looking at the landscape guys they have a unit of velites and one unit of hastati but pretty much the rest of everything that's on the ground is all cavalry so i think we're good I'm just going to group up all of these guys who are on the walls that are fighting on the walls just to make sure we don't accidentally move any of them off the walls. We're going to get you guys there. We're going to bring you guys through this way too. You guys can go this way. Um, and then the rest of you boys, let's bring you in. And then we're just going to grind down cavalry pretty much. So it shouldn't be too difficult. But let's see. Let's see. You can be in that group there as well. And you can go and deal with that Hastati. So let's go. Well, here we go, guys. We are getting into the fight now. Here come the Italic Equites. I don't think the Cavalry of Rome is that good at the start. So, yeah, I don't think we'll have too much of a worry fighting these Equites with our Hoplites. Because, of course, our Hoplites are spearmen. We do have our Thuriophore over here fighting the Hastati. But that's going to be a bit of a nightmare, but it should be okay for the time being. And there goes more Equites trying to fight our Hoplites. As long as the, what do you call it, the Tribunus Militum does not do too many dodgy things, I'm sure we'll be fine. So, yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad, but let's see. We are still fighting the Princapes up on the walls, which is very difficult, but... It'll be okay, guys. It'll be okay. <laughs> Probably. Well, the grind is real, my friends. Even uh, just killing Equites with Hoplites, it's pretty darn difficult. And they've even got their Tribunus Militum in here now, which is fine. We're also fighting the Equites over here, which is very good, in fact, because they've broken. So let's get there, guys, as quick as you can. I know you're a little bit tired. This Astarte, though, 
is proving to be very difficult to kill. The same with the Princapes, but as long as we hold them there and we take the town square, as usual, we should be pretty darn good. There we go. There's the general. He is dead. Fantastic. Let's go, guys. Let's speed this up a little bit. But there goes a lot of their guys dying pretty quickly. Here we go. Kill them. Kill them. Quick, quick, quick. You guys deal with them. You guys get into the back of the Tribunus Militum. And then we should be good. The thing is, I want to, you know, at least this army have enough men to beat a Roman army if they dare come and attack us. Whether that's going to be possible, though, I have no idea afterwards. So let's see. But at the minute, oh, kill them. Kill them. Good, good. Let's keep going, guys. Let's keep going. And there's very little left to kill now, which is glorious. Apparently, the uh, Hastati did win, though. That's very annoying. So what we're going to have to do, going to have to get you guys here. Go, 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 go to just hold the Hastati. Get going, my friends. And what was it? What else was here? These guys. You guys deal with them. You guys just come that way. And everyone else can deal with the Velites. As long as you go and stop that Astarte from doing anything else. They came back from routing, though. And, yeah, glorious, glorious, guys. Rome is going to be sacked by the Crab Boys. Feeding Rome to the crabs. Let's go. Yes, let's go. This is unbelievably fun. <laughs> what a painful nation. But in the end, it was very, very fun to play with these guys once again. And sack Rome, even if we have to fight, you know, whatever, the 10 million bloody armies that they brought down to uh, Masana. But anyway, <laughs> we'll try and forget about that for the time being. You guys get going to block these men off. There we go. Spread around them. And there we go. Glorious, my friends. Glorious. Let's hold there. Nothing else to do. Glorious. The Brinker Bays are going to survive, but who cares? Rome is now ours. Feed them to the crabs. 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 And Rome has been fed to the glorious... Crabs. Of course, we are going to exterminate these fools and we are going to destroy every single thing that we can in this godforsaken city. What a disgusting place. Fuck you, Rome. Fuck you and all your stupid, shitty armies. And fuck your holy city to pieces. Fuck off. We have beaten you, you disgusting bastards. Let's go, boys. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, let's let's leave. Let, oh, my God. It's, we can get so close. Oh, my God. We get so, so close. Hmm. Seems a little bit dodgy still. I think we still need to come off the ships for a second. But, yes, Rome. <laughs> Stupid imbeciles. Stupid Stupid imbeciles, you bring your armies down here to take a shithole like Masana when really you should have been worried about Rome. <laughs> oh, glorious. What are we going to do with that money, though? We are going to build up our nation, guys. And if you want to see more of this campaign, like I say, 100 likes, and we are going to turn Acragas into a pirate crabby boy nation and there's more of what just happened here to come if you did enjoy that but thank you very much for watching guys make sure you do like and subscribe glory to the crabs and of course feed them to the crabs